Welcome back to Carolina News. Gamecock women's basketball advanced to its seventh straight Sweet 16 after beating Oregon State 59 to 42. Aaliyah Boston had her way last night in the paint for sure. Nice work here by the freshman. She's going to use her length and get that awesome touch off the glass. Her night ended with 19 points here. Destiny Henderson stealing the ball, going coast to coast. Oof, man, D. Henny does it so well. Um, also, Boston talked about what Coach John Saley told the team before the game. Yeah, um, over the time when we were prepping, she just told us to be aggressive and we need to occupy their post and just post up every time. Carolina will face number five Georgia Tech on Saturday. Tip-off time is to be determined. Now, we're keeping tabs on another one seed that Carolina might collide with later in that tourney. The UConn Huskies won last night versus Syracuse 83-47. Now, to be expected, it was the Paige Becker show, everyone. Awesome vision here. She gets the steal, and yeah, easy money for Paige. Becker scored the most points on the team with 20 as UConn made quick work of the Orange. Now, my mom tuned into that game last night, and she told me Paige Becker's is sick. So I got to agree with my mom, right? Now, Gamecock women's soccer is back in action earlier than expected this week. Carolina will take the journey up to Elon tomorrow to play the Phoenix at 6 p.m. The match was added after the team's weekend meeting with Appalachian State was scrapped on Monday. COVID issues with the Mountaineers is the reason for the cancellation. Three-game win streak is on the line for Carolina. They've won both of their spring matches, both by scores of 3-0. to nil. Well, one game is a win and two wins is a streak. And after getting back to winning ways versus the Citadel, Gamecock baseball is probably feeling like this. I think I got my swagger back. Oh, oh. Someone who surely has his swagger back on full blast is pitcher Will Sanders. He struck out 10 Bulldog batters in five innings last night, a career high for the freshman. Wes Clark hit his 11th homer of the season as Carolina poured eight runs on the Bulldogs. Going back to Sanders, he said that he didn't know how much he'd pitch, but he knew he could control his attitude heading into the game. And my mindset was just attack every inning, attack every hitter, each pitch and go after each pitch with 100% effort. Carolina's next challenge is a weekend series versus number five Florida starting on Friday. There are a lot of familiar faces back on campus today for Carolina Football Pro Day. Our Caitlin Smith has more on the players who are working out for their chance to make their NFL dreams reality. It has been over two years since Pro Day has taken place at the University of South Carolina indoor practice facility. Pro Day started at 1 p.m. today and the athletes will work out through the afternoon. The results can be found on GamecocksOnline.com.